Depending on where you live, you might have two different names for this. In Canada, we're going to call it the Jura Z8. It might be called the Jura Z8, depending on where you live, but we're going to call it the Jura Z8 today. It's the new flagship machine in the Super Automatics from Jura. We're going to take you through the features, the functionality of this machine, and some of the things that it has that other espresso machines in the market do not have. My favorite thing, you'll notice I've got my Queen Canteen travel mug here, is that this is one of the few machines that, if I go all the way to the top, my travel mug fits under. And I absolutely love that because I hate having to angle my, my, my mug to get a coffee. So I don't have to do it in this machine. So functionality wise, we have a 2.4 liter tank with smart filter, 280 gram bean hopper. Um, we also have the very nice, I'm not sure if it's glass, I can't really tell, uh, glass or plastic drip tray, but very nice drip tray. Um, and our great 4.3 inch touch screen that gives you all of the error messages, all of the things you have to do, and all of the programming built right in. We also have hooked up to it, not included, is the cold control um, from Jura, which helps keep your milk cold for those, um, those lattes and cappuccinos. So what does this machine do differently? Let's uh, have a quick look at the touchscreen. On the Z8, we have 21 beverages to choose from, including three different hot waters, which if we go to the second page, you can see we have hot water, hot water for black tea, which is going to be your hottest, and green tea, which is actually at about 170, I believe, for green tea. So the people that like the green tea, it's, it's going to do it perfectly for you. Uh, this machine also does a jug of coffee, so it's going to cycle uh, the number of times you program it to make a jug, jug of coffee. Um, it does a true Americana, we'll talk about that in a, in a second as well, along with all of your standard, standard drinks. You can use the touch screen and you can name your drink as well. For the just standard coffee, I have called it Neil's Coffee, just to show you that you can actually name your drinks. Um, and if you don't want to use the, uh, the front button, you can actually use the, the rotary to get into the secondary menu. To, to do double espressos, two coffees, et cetera, et cetera. So very easy to use, very easy to program. For example, if I want to program something, I'm just going to press the P up here, press the P, and we can get into our machine settings. We can scroll over to go to our maintenance status for cleaning the milk, et cetera, uh, and we can program a drink. Let's just very quickly, we're going to uh, program the espresso, product settings, and this is where we can slide up for, sorry, slide up for volume, so let's say we want to do a one and a half ounce as our standard, and we move the menu to go to temperature. We want to go high, or we can go down to low temperature, depending on how you like your coffee. Why you would do it low, I have no idea. Yeah, oh, we're going to put that back down. My fingers are low. There we go. And coffee strength, you can go up as well. So, and you can save that if you like. You can name it, um, or you can, you can copy the product. So you can have one for one person in the house and one for the other. The other thing you can do is you can use the Joe app on your phone. Um, and that way, if you have a very special customized menu that you want to have on your phone for the drinks, you can actually order it from the other room using the Bluetooth technology. Um, I like that on these machines, but I also think it's a little silly because if you forget to put a, a cup here, you're just going to pour your coffee down the drain, literally. So um, great to have, but you got to remember to have your cup there before you order it on your phone. Otherwise, you're going to create a bit of a mess. So this is one of the cool features about this machine is what it can actually do for coffee. So for Americano, for example, in this machine it's running, it's going to brew your, your espresso and then run hot water through, through a, a special process inside so it's not continuing to go through the coffee grounds. Um, and then for what they call cafe barista and the pot of coffee that it makes, it actually slows down the grinder speed to give you a more balanced uh, beverage at the end. Um, for the Americano, like I said, it does come out separately so it's a true Americano, not like most other machines that will, that will fake it. So let's make ourselves an Americano and go from there. So I'm going to my second menu and just press Americano. Again, we can adjust on the fly if we like or we can just let it go. It's a seven and a half ounces of volume. And near the end of this, you'll start to see the, the, the drips running a little clearer. But you do get a true Americano out of this machine, which is great. I drink the coffee out of this machine every day. Um, I like my coffees a little less creme and it comes out fantastic. Fills up my travel mug, mug absolutely perfectly. So, And we have a perfect Americano. If I wanted to make a jug of coffee, we also have that functionality as well. Uh, the machine does not come with a jug that actually that fits in. Uh, we happen to have a 
Actually, it's more of a kettle, but you can use you could use it as a jug if you like. Uh, you can see the size. This is a fellow fellow kettle actually for poor coffee, but you could use something about this size. And you can program how many times it will cycle, or just continue to cycle in your programming to give you a full pot of coffee, which is great for if you're having guests over. Now we're gonna go on to make a milk-based drink. We're gonna make a cafe latte. And the dual thermal blocks in this unit will enable the machine to brew both the coffee and bring your milk foam in at the same time. So it makes it much quicker than a traditional machine. Uh, so we're gonna make a latte. The machine has 10 heat settings for your milk. So you can actually uh, adjust the milk temperature if you like extra hot or like your milk a little bit cooler. So we've got it uh, preset. So we're gonna press our latte. And what you'll notice is that we can adjust our coffee strength yet again. We have five seconds of milk foam, three ounces of espresso, and 21 seconds of milk, so it's, it, it's done by second. That's something you play with for your size of, of cup. But what you will see is that we get both uh, coming out at the same time. Now in our case, we have the cold control um, hooked up to the machine, which we absolutely love. and we'll end up with a beautifully mixed latte. Now the machine will prompt you after uh, your milk beverages to clean the system. Uh, one of the neat things about the, the Jura um, with this particular model is that it actually takes water from the machine itself to clean the system. So you don't have to fill up a container with water, it will actually do it for you. Uh, I won't go through that right now, but it is a very, very easy way to clean this machine. So the Jura Z8 has pulse extraction process, has the aroma grinder, and connectivity built in for the app. So no additional uh, PC you have to buy like on some of the other uh, Jura machines. So we can actually have our own drinks pre-programmed for us on our phone. Uh, we can choose espresso right here. You'll see it gets a couple of seconds to connect. And again, as long as you have the smarts to put a cup under there, um, or you have somebody that's willing to do it for you, uh, you can you can have a great espresso and you're not just pouring it down the drain. Really cool feature, not necessary, but it is kind of fun. Overall, great machine. It is on the higher end. It does have pretty much everything you possibly want in a super automatic. Uh, we love Jura. We also love their after um, care service. Uh, it does have a two year warranty. However, even beyond that, this is in Canada anyway, um, they do cap the repair uh, amount you will spend to fix your machine. So even two, three years down the road, um, even if it needed $1,000 in repairs, you're gonna be capped uh, at a certain level, uh, which we think is really great. So overall guys, subscribe below. We love this machine. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Come into our stores if you want the best prices on these machines and have a great day. And have a great day. And have a great day. Because a great Dre doesn't mean anything. But you can have a great way, a great day. Go have a great something. Have a great coffee.